Burma coup resistance notes September 1, 2022 A People's Defense Force specializing in drone warfare, called Federal Wings, has begun production of large six-rotor drones capable of carrying and dropping heavy payloads such as 60mm and 80mm bombs. The Karen Army used one of these on August 28 to blow up a building where junta officers were meeting, killing two and wounding five. They also have fixed-wing bombing drones that fly like airplanes. To avoid the junta's drone jamming signals, these drones use autopilot so they can't be jammed. Federal Wings is now conducting a public fundraising campaign, endorsed by the National Unity Government, to expand production of these drones to help cripple the junta army. Ethnic regions in Morn State, a new Morn PDF called the Morn State Defense Force South attacked a police station in Kausa, Yi Township this morning. They say there are casualties but numbers aren't known. They say the police there have been trafficking drugs to the local youth and pocketing the profits. In Arakan State, the Arakan Army seized a junta camp yesterday near the Bangladesh border. Nineteen junta troops police in the camp were killed and a large cache of weapons, ammunition, and equipment was seized by the AA, which says the attack was retaliation for the killing of three Arakan civilians and the wounding of nine by indiscriminate junta mortar fire. In Kothule Karen Nation Duplayer District Myawadi Township on Burmese maps junta troops fought with the Karen Army Cobra Battalion again on August 30th. No change in the situation is reported, meaning that the junta is still unable to move south along the Myawadi Wall Lay Road. In Kothule Tavu District Tantapan Township on Burmese maps Karen Army and Allied PDF forces attacked a junta camp with mortars last evening. Five junta troops were killed and an unknown number wounded, the wounded were seen being evacuated. The Karen Army has facilitated the extraction of the families of two junta soldiers who defected to the Karen Army earlier, so that the families and the defectors could be safely reunited in Karen-controlled territory. Their children are now enrolled in Kothule government schools. In Chin State, a junta army sergeant in Palatwa Township defected to the Chin Defense Forces on August 29, but without weapons, so he will be given safety but no cash bonus. Jin Defense Forces announced today that during the month of August 80 junta troops were killed in fighting in Chin State. Similarly, Kareni Defense Forces announced that fighting in Kareni region killed 40 junta troops during August, while four more defected to the Kareni side. Refugees in Kareni region are increasingly malnourished, as donations decrease and the junta blocks the transport of rice and other foods from central Burma. Adults skip meals to feed their children, protein sources are lacking, and people eat their rice with only plants cooked from the forest. Junta Scorched Earth Village Terrorism Campaign Junta troops opened fire with mortars and gunfire yesterday on refugees fleeing Thanagan village in Myong township of Zagaing region, killing one civilian and wounding others. People's Defense Forces PDFs In Zagaing region, a PDF in Shwebo attacked junta troops with both roadside bombs and a drone bombing yesterday, killing two soldiers in each case. In the same township, another PDF drone bombed Pau saw Hati members planting rice near the terrorist camp at Zipu Kone on August 30, killing two of them. In Kinu township yesterday 40 junta troops and Pau saw Hati thugs went to commit a terrorist attack in a village when they were ambushed by a local PDF. After an exchange of fire the troops began to move, at which point they were gunned down by the PDF. About 10 were killed and 15 wounded. A PDF in Hati Chang Township bombed junta patrols twice today, killing about 10 troops and 6 seriously wounded. In Magwe region, to try to reduce the junta's terrorist attacks on civilian villages, a coalition of 10 PDF simultaneously attacked two junta camps in Mai Aing Township on August 30. They claim they killed at least 10 troops and wounded as many. A junta police officer defected to a saw township PDF yesterday with full weapons, and was given safety in a liberated area and a cash bonus. A PDF in Pork Township fired on Pau saw Hati operatives on a junta supply mission yesterday, killing five of them and wounding two. In Bago region, a PDF killed two troops in Natalan Township as they marched. Urban warfare in Thanlin Township of Yangon, two junta guards shot and killed seven of their colleagues after a dispute at a shooting range last night. The two then escaped with their weapons, and their whereabouts are unknown. In Yangon region, a PDF detonated a bomb at the gate of the HMRB police barracks last night, near the main junta airbase. Bombs also went off last night in Insane, North Dagon, North Okalapa, Mingaladan, Kyauktada, Arlone, Shwepiatha, and Tamwe townships. 
In Mandalay, a bomb went off while junta administration officials were holding a meeting today. Civil Disobedience Movement CDM. Thai authorities raided one of two Buddhist monasteries allegedly opened in May Sot, Thailand after the Burma coup by pro-junta nationalist monks. Inside, the Thai police found 38 undocumented Burmese people on August 29, some of whom are alleged spies sent to investigate the numerous pro-democracy activists and journalists who have sought safety in Thailand. This was after the monks denied the presence of the Burmese. The aliens are being detained and investigated.